everyone my name is graphics if you look at the right hand of the screen you see a figure there and we are to reproduce that figure using the principle of tangency the first thing we are going to do you draw your vertical and horizontal axis like i'll use my center line to represent it a long one short one long just like that and the horizontal axis i'll use my long one hope you can see that now if you look at the figure closely you see that there's an hexagon in between that figure right and it is 20 millimeter apart so what i will simply do here right is to take a radius of what of 20 i go together a radius of 10 right that is half of 20 with your compass you measure it from your compass in this fashion from 0 to 10 that is half of 20 and you place it at the center point here and you draw a circle faint line hope you can see that now you now take your 30 and 60 degrees square you place it on your meter rule your t square right and draw an angle at this manner can you see that so where it meets this point and this point so you are going to bisect it in order to get what 15 degree so if i place it on this point i will strike an arc i'll place on the other point here i'll strike another arc so where these two line meet will be the point of what the 15 degree this way so this is the 15 here and also the 15 here now i will now take the radius of this circle you know the circle is concentric so anywhere i take it from will be the radius of that circle which is 10 out there then i'll place it at that corner here where the 15 degree is i'll mark to the right i'll mark to the left i'll come to the other point here too i'm going to mark to the right and I'll also mark to the left then i'll join those points together so if i come here i'll join from here to here i'll take in it i'll join from this point to this point i'll take in it I'll join from here to here. I'll take in it. I'll join here too. I'll take in it. I'll come here also. I'll take in it. Then here too. I'll take in it. So this is what we have here so after we've done that the next thing we'll do is that we are going to draw it is circle there's a circle that is surrounding this hexagon and the diameter of the circle is 30 meaning the radius is what 15. so i'm going to take my radius of 15 this way from 0 to 15 right and i'll place it at the center right like this and i'll draw a circle which i am going to what tick in hope you can see that so after that there's another bigger circle which has a radius of what 20 
and I'm going to measure 20 on my meter rule again from 0 to 20. I'll at the center and I'll draw this, but I'll be using a faint line. Hope you can see that now from the center here to the right. I'm going to measure 50 right to get this to this part. So measure 50 from here from zero. Let me make it a little bit upward. So from zero to fifty. Use it here. Now draw my center line there also. Taking it to be a long, long shot using the center line to represent it. Can easily maybe extend this a little bit too. Can you see that? And after that, there's a circle there that has a radius of 12 all together. So I'm going to measure radius of 12 on my meter rule this way from 0 to 12. Now place it here. Right? Now draw another circle this way. Faint line first. And there's another inner one again, which has a diameter of 12, so I'm going to use 6. So I measure 6, so I'm 0 to 6. I'll place it here. So I'm going to draw 6, which I'm going to take in. Can you see that? Now, um, this line, this circle here is tangential. The line you see here is tangential to this circle here. And this is also tangential, so I'll do a tangential line from this point, as you can see in the diagram, to this point here, tangential. And from here also, tangential. Can you see that? Then I can easily just thicken this. Hope you can see that now the next thing we're going to be doing is the other part because it says two holes as you can see this one and the other one here so i'm going to measure a distance of what 40 from the center as you can see on the screen so sometimes you see from here to the other end is 90 so 50 here and 40 the other side so i measure 40 from here from 0 to 4 is 40 all right then i'll draw a vertical line like a center line downward this way to draw a vertical line first can you see that then i'll measure 25 millimeters as you can see downward to get to the center of the circle so let me measure the 25 millimeter downward from 0 to 25 that is where I'm going to put my long short as my center line. Long one, short one, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Right? Then at this point here, I'll do the same thing here too. Long, short, long, short, just like that. Hope you can see that. Remember that what is whatever I do here, that is what I'm doing here. And the radius of this is also 12. I'll come here. I'll do the same thing. Draw a circle, faint line first. And the inner one here is 6. I'll come here also. I'm going to tick in the 6. Can you see that? Now, if you look closely, there's an arc here connecting this, and it's going in. When I thought it's going in, you're going to what? Add. Check my previous videos. Whenever the arc is going in, we say that it's external, and we what? 
we are adding. Are we good now? So we we'll add what are we adding? We are adding the radiuses. So which radius will you add? The radius of this is what is um twelve. And the radius of this bigger circle is what fifteen. So twelve plus what twenty five? Sorry, twelve plus twenty five. Now give us what thirty seven. So the radius of this plus this ah this radius here. So um, 37. So I'm going to measure 37 on my meter rule from 0. This is 37 here. Right? And I'll place it at this point. I'll strike an arc. Now, if you look closely, you can see that at this point here, there's a radius of what? 20. Altogether, the radius of what? 20. And you now add that radius. To the 25 and that'll give us what 45. So I'll now measure 45 on my meter rule, radius of 45. That is 45 here, and I'll place it at the center point here, and I'll strike an arc this way. So this is where the arc is meeting this, and that is where I'll now place my compass and connect this to this. You connect it to it, make sure that it is well placed. Make sure that it is what? It is well placed. You can see that, and you can take it out from here to this point. Hope you can see that. And the other one that we have here is going out. So you are going to subtract. So what you are going to do is you will add the radiuses. So since the radius, you subtract the radius here, since you added this, this is going in, you add, then this is coming out. So as you can see here, then you are going to what? Subtract. So 80. Of this radius here, bigger radius minus 12, that is going to give us um, 68. So I'm going to measure 68 on my meter rule 0 to 68. This is 68 here, and I'll place it at the center here. I'll check an arc here. You can see that, and similarly. 80 minus the radius of this bigger circle, which is 20. I'm going to come here also from 0, that will give us 60. Then I'll measure 60. And I'll place it at this point here. And I'll draw an arc. Can you see that? So where they meet, they're meeting here. I'll place my compass there. Take it to this point. Then I'll draw an arc. Right? I'm going to do what? Draw an arc. From this point here you draw an arc from this point where they meet here you draw an arc in that way from this point here so we come here And you take in here. You take in here. And you see what we are trying to achieve. Right? And that is what we call a rocker ham. You do your dimension in. So you do what you want to do. So if you found this video helpful, please remember to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.